All right, so I told you that I would show you the set when we came back after finishing up there at Hag's End. Check it out. The Ancient Shrouded Armor. So it's, you remember that shrouded set that Astrid gave you when we first started this quest line? Well, this is a, it's ancient and yet it's better. Like, not only are the armor stats better, but also the the enchantment buffs. This one, is, as opposed to 50%, it's increased poison resistance to 100%. This one, still muffled and moves silently, which is great. Bows do 35% more damage. And double sneak attack damage with one-handed weapons. And this is mm -hmm. how it... What the... Okay, so apparently there's something that doesn't prevent the hood from working? Whoops. Oh, it's because of my horns. That's funny. <laughs> okay, never mind. So apparently if I'm an Argonian with horns, it doesn't really work. Alright. In that case, let's just put this back on. I find that kind of funny. Anyway, let us now... Let's head to the Standing Stone. And meet up with Carlia. Perhaps I could have been had a better chance to show it off to you if I wasn't playing an Argonian with horns. Or maybe if I hadn't given myself horns when we started this. When I first created the character. I could always go to the Ragged Flag and then change my face. What are you doing? What, you think we should kill him, Shadow Mare? Good. Good out! Take this, Pyromancer! Oh, oh I'm sorry, Shadow Mare. Look at Shadow Mare! You should take him on. Love yeah. it, love it, love it. Oh, he did not just heal himself. Ridiculous. I wondered why he was looking up. There is a dragon's lair over there, but... Anyway. Shadow Mirror. Oh, another enemy? Where? Wait, is there a... Hold on. Come, Shadow Mirror. Oh, hold on. Let me take a moment to heal myself. Ah! Shadow Mirror, come back! wondering where this oh it's got to be a dragon it has to be it is be careful Fortunately, Shadow Mirror will help me fight it. Which is awesome. Ah, I can't take the bones. Watch this, Shadow Mirror. Your soul is mine. Now that that's over with, home, Shadow Mia. Let's go meet Carlia. 
And I assume Brynjolf as well. And Drakethus will catch up. I will say it is nice to finally have a horse. And Shadowmere is really good at, uh, like, climbing mountains. Regular horses can do it, but Shadowmere is definitely better. Well, well, well. There's Brynjolf and Carlyle. They're like, oh, you have a mighty horse there, do you? I'm glad you're here. What's the significance of this place? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. What kind of an edge? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Ooh. So, tell me about the Nightingale. Gallus. Mercer Frey and I were once members of what's known as the Nightingale Trinity. The Trinity disbanded 25 years ago when Mercer Frey betrayed us by slaying Gallus and dumping his body in the ruins of Snowvale Sanctum. Were they a part of the Thieves Indirectly. Guild? Indirectly. The Trinity is usually selected from the ranks of the Guild, although its existence is a closely guarded secret. What is their purpose? The Nightingales protect the Temple of Nocturnal. A place known as the Twilight Sepulchre. That's what that is. Who is Nocturne? She's the mistress of night and darkness, and the patron of every thief in Tamriel. I never met a thief that worshipped anything. Nocturnal isn't one for worship and reverence. There are no priests and no sermons, no services, and no arms. Huh. She influences our luck, and in return, demands payment. Ah. Sounds like a guild contract. You're closer to understanding than you realize. The only difference is she doesn't demand payment in the traditional sense. And sometimes the cost can be quite high. Whether you know it or not, Nocturnal dictates how well we perform as rogues. Well, I have my skill, not powers or magic. Again, you have to think differently. Haven't you ever noticed how our luck behaves? Like a novice picking an impossible lock? Or a blind man suddenly turning to face you as you reach for his pocket. It's through these subtle means that Nocturnal influences us. Huh. Sounds like she just likes us to suffer. Nocturnal's whim is the greatest mystery to everyone. There have been volumes written on the subject. Does she exact payment when we die? When we suffer, does she revel in our misery? No one knows. The return certainly seems worth the risk, though. Am I to become a nightingale? It's my hope that you will, yes. This way, please. He's just ahead. Please, keep following. I think we can trust Carlia. Let's see what she's on about. Alright. Look at her rocking the bow. With ebony arrows, of course. Definitely a ranger. Nightingale Hall. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Brynjolf? I can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here last. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Brynjolf. It's business. Huh. Besides, I think I think you're you've proven to be good enough to uh, have earned your place here. Not necessarily in this your thieving like skills, but in your leadership. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. Now, if you'll both proceed to the armory to don your nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. We get new armor? Oh, wasted, sweet. And Mercer's still out there. By the hiss, Let's get the show on the sight. Yeah, Durkethus is here just as an observer. He's my bodyguard. He gets to stay here.
Activate the armor stone? Ooh, that must be the symbol. Oh boy. You appear hesitant to don your nightingale armor. What's troubling you? Let's do it. You appear hesitant to don your nightingale armor. What's troubling you? Equip the nightingale armor. Light armor. 81 armor, 12 weight. This is before I can buff it. Increase your stamina by 40 points. Increases frost resistance by 50%. That's good. Wear is muffled and moves silently. Excellent. Lock picking is 25% easier. One-handed attacks do 25% more damage. That's really good. And the hood. Illusion spells cost 17% less to cast. Huh. Illusion spell. It Very interesting. Time's wasting. Oh, I'm that sure looks awesome. Let's get this show on the road. You appear ready oh, to Oh, they both donned their armor, too. Oh, this is pretty sweet armor. It looks awesome. And now they're both wearing it, too. This is great. Not too crazy about the hood with the illusion spells, but the other piece is really nice. I mean, after all, I mean, at this point, I don't have... All I have is clair, clairvoyance, courage, and fear. That's all I've got. The but then again, I'm not playing as a main uh, spellcaster type of character. You appear ready for the oath. So what happened to capturing Mercer alive? In the moment you were struck with my poisoned arrow at Snowvale Sanctum, my path changed its course. Perhaps I couldn't bring Mercer back alive, but together, we were able to clear my name and to put Gallus' memory to rest. I'd always intended Mercer's fate to ultimately be decided by the Guild, and it seems they've spoken. All right. Proceed down the hall to the gate when you're okay, ready. Okay, lass. We've got these get-ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a Nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a Nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a Nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the Western Circle. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? A bit. A bit. We'll speak when the oath is complete. I'm guessing that she can use it, but I can't. I gotta stand over there. We'll speak when the oath is complete. I know, oh. I know. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? Okay, Dirkidas, why don't you just uh, wait here? I'll keep watch from here. Good. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Merc, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, Carlia. I was oh. wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? <laughs> my lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlia. Your terms were struck long ago. 
What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. Huh. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. <laughs> Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Mm. Well, okay then. I guess that was it. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. What does that mean? He's done more? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. The By skeleton this, key? He's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Wait, so... I've heard about these types. this type of item. The key can unlock any door? Well, yes, but the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. Huh. Sounds like no one should possess Good. it. Then you understand why this is about more than just Mercer's lust for power. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. First time I ever set out to return something. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. All right, let's Before go. we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Sure. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. Hmm? The leadership of the guild. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership You just of the repeated guild. yourself, man. Why'd that tell us? Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. Me? But well, what about you? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead, never desired oh, it, never cared for it, don't want it. Huh. <sighs> I, I don't know what to say. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. <laughs> Alright, I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Then let's get to it. I've been pouring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthand. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. All right. So, I guess you and I are Nightingales now. Aye. And some of what Carlyle said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. 
Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. Do you think we stand a chance against Mercer? If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no. But now I think our chances have improved. Look, call me crazy if you like, but I trust Kalaya. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Besides, I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade and spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way. All right. Until next we meet, lad. Whenever you're ready to... I will walk alongside you. Thanks, Terkethus. Well, obviously I need to go uh, make a stop somewhere. Because I want to see if I can improve this armor. Plus, I may want to take that blade that I uh, gave to Terkethus now that I have the armor. Hey, uh, may I ever return here? Yes. Now that you are a nightingale. You may consider this your home. You'll find that this place offers many things that will help you in your endeavors, as well as a wealth of information for you to learn. Once the skeleton key has been restored to the Twilight Sepulchre, I'll make this place my home as well. I don't feel stronger. With the skeleton key missing from the Twilight Sepulchre, I'm afraid Mercer's seen to it that none of us can benefit from Nocturnal's gifts. But she spoke to you us. You merely transacted the oath, signed the unwritten contract with Nocturnal. In order for us to receive our abilities, our end of the bargain, I'm afraid the key must be returned. Then Nocturnal's angry at us? If Nocturnal was truly displeased with me, with any of us, she wouldn't have answered my call. I have no doubt that we still hold her favor. And I believe it gives us enough of an edge to defeat Mercer Frey. Alright. Hey, Drakeithus, can I take that blade back? Out. Need me to carry something? Here we go. I mean, it's a good sword. That's That was as high as I could uh, upgrade it. May the hist guide us. Indeed. Though I found out some interesting things about the hist. Like the lore behind that. It's fascinating. Good job, Shadowmere. I like that the symbol of the Brotherhood is on his uh, saddle there. All right, so let's see. I think I s I'm I'm anticipating it's going to take leather to improve this. That's my anticipation of what it takes to upgrade this. So I know I stashed some leather away in my house in Riften. I guess I can always just go there, check it first, and then see what I need to grab. So let's do that first. Let's go ahead and just double check at the uh, workbench what I need to upgrade Be this. Be careful. Alright. Oh! Oh no, I was wrong! Void Ooh, salts? Legendary Argonian craftsmanship. <laughs> of course. I don't mess with alchemy at all, and now it comes back to, to bite me. Well, I guess I can check in here. I guess I can try and check if I have any in my alchemy lab that I have here in this house. Are there how many void salts do I have, if any? Glow dust, bone meal, spriggan sap, frost salts. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two. Okay. Oh, is that another? Yes. Vampire dust. Damage health recipe. I don't see any other salts. I have a hunch that, uh... There's my glass set I went ahead and just put on display over here. When I decided to don the uh, ebony set. 
But I have a hunch that uh, I may have another. I may have at least one more in the alchemy lab that I have in the house in Markarth. No lollygagging. They're like, ah, oh, what is that hood? Who is that hooded man? You've been a good friend to me. That means something. All right, let's see how much can I improve this. Flawless. Goes from 36 to 63. That's not bad. I don't know about the hood. See, I like the, the, the buffs on these three pieces here, but the hood... I never use illusion spell, so it's kind of like, eh. I would rather wear that mask instead. That would make more sense to go with this, really. Alright, well... So I've gotten two really cool light armor sets. The Ancient Shrouded set... And the Nightingale set. <laughs> Alright. But more than likely, I'm going to just go back to my Ebony set. And, I don't know. Maybe I'll hold on to these. I mean, they don't weigh that much. Although, that does weigh 12. That weighs only 5. 138. The armor rating is 2 points better, but it does weigh more. They weigh two each. One, one, half, and five. <laughs> this ends up becoming a problem. You then start to get so many good sets, you, you then are not really sure uh, what to wear. So yeah, I already like just discovered it to fast travel to, so that's where we have to go to continue that. I mean, we're pretty much on the path now where we are just, like, you know, cranking this out for both of these guild lines. So, we will probably either be continuing this. I think we're getting closer to the end of this than we are this. But we'll be either doing Blindsided or Recipe Disaster, more than likely, unless I change my mind and decide to do something else. But there really isn't anything else I'm, like, eager to do right now as opposed to these two, like... We're progressing really well with both of these. So I think what I'm thinking about in terms of uh, the order we might do these things is we might finish both of these off in whichever order I feel like doing. Then we'll do hitting the books to continue the mage stuff. Maybe we will do awakening to kind of continue the, the dawn guard stuff. And possibly at some point return to the main story <laughs> i'm trying to put off the civil war stuff as long as i can so you know but that's probably what i'm thinking in terms of where we're gonna go from uh from here on out stay tuned